Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a, a video on the uh, engine in the uh, in the SLC and give some more some more details about that. Uh, I've got a, a dyno run uh, video that'll uh, be at the end of this uh, this clip as well. Um, uh, that I just uh, just had the engine uh, tuned up a bit. Um, so it's got a, a LS7 block, uh, just a stock LS7 block, but uh, bored out uh, to 4.13. Um, Kelly's Magnum 3.625 crank, um, and uh, Howard's uh, billet 6.125 rods um, with the uh, Weissco uh, forged pistons. Um, so basically a de-stroked uh, LS7, um, and I'll talk about this a little bit more later, but I think, I think that's, that's probably the one thing that I, if I had to do it over again, I probably would have just kept it at a 427. Um, went went de-stroked just to um, uh, to be able to have the thing rev out a little bit uh, more safely um, the uh, I, I've kept the the stock gearing in the uh, Graziano uh, transaxle um, which uh, uh, put, put basically uh, it's geared really really low uh, for a high winding engine and I just personally like high winding engines they're they're just fun, not practical at all, but neither is the car, so who cares? Um, and for uh, for road racing and uh, stuff like that, it's, like I said, it's just fun. It's a toy car anyway. Um, but uh, uh, realistically, 427 with the, with the same same uh, quality bottom end would rev out uh, just as well. Um, so this this thing will go up to 8500 um, uh, pretty safely. It's it's really it's it's down to the valve train really as long as you got a decent. Uh, decently set up a uh, short block but anywho um so it's it's 388 uh cubic inches is is, is what the uh what the engine's running at uh with uh 12 to 1 static compression um heads are uh, gm uh, ls7 castings uh ported by advanced advanced induction uh it's their 280 cc uh porting uh, uh package or whatever um so uh, I'll, I'll uh, include some pictures uh, at the end of the video as well that uh, that will show some show a bunch of this stuff. Um, the uh, uh, so did uh, bronze valve guides uh, in the process, of course. Um, They're just used used castings that I got off of uh, one of the forums, um, and then uh, kept the uh, kept the stock um, two point two inch uh, uh, intake titanium intake valves because those are obviously you know, good uh, quality parts. Um, but uh, swapped out the exhaust valves for uh, uh, Feria, if I'm pronouncing it right, uh, hollow stemmed uh, stainless uh, exhaust valves. They're a little bit heavier than the stock valves, but uh, a bit more ro robust um, and not nearly as heavy as uh, solid stems. There's a whole bunch of debate on the forums on like which kind of valves and valve drop issues and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, it's more just as much drama as, as fact out there, so uh, <laughs> you guys can... Uh, Look into that yourselves if if you want, but that's what I decided to do, and uh, uh, you know so far it's been holding up, holding up great. Uh, we'll see how it does after a few uh, runs on the road, road race course, though. Um, for uh, valve train, it's a cam motion uh, solid solid roller, uh, zero lash. Um, at idle, there's you, you you can't hear the the valve train just barely, uh, so they're 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 really quiet, not not like the uh, you know kind of the older. Uh, High lash uh, uh, solid roller cams. Um, the uh, uh, it's reasonably mild for a solid roller. Um, two forty six intake, two fifty six exhaust at 0 .05 uh, for duration. Uh, valve lift is with a one point eight rocker is uh, six point sorry point six six nine on the intake side and point six six zero on the exhaust side. Um, so uh, uh, a set of uh, Howard's uh, solid roller lifters, uh, comp cams, uh, 7 uh, push rods, they're tapered down to fit through the, uh, uh, the space in the heads, um, and then uh, TMD uh, 1.8 ratio shaft rockers with spring oilers. Um, yeah, so, uh, uh, and just obviously had to have the, uh, uh, the uh, bosses in the heads milled down to accept those, but uh, I've run those on uh, on a previous engine, and uh, and they, they they hold up really really well. Um, on the springs, I've got a pack twelve thirty seven X springs with uh, titanium uh, retainers. So 
let's see, on the intake, um, as you can probably tell by looking at the thing, it's a uh, Holly uh, LS7 uh, high RAM. Uh, and just did, uh, I, I just did some port matching and uh, mildly uh, smoothed the, um, uh, the runners and the plenum. Um, so, uh, because you know, those, those things are, are pretty well, uh, <laughs> they're pretty well cast uh, from the factory. I might have been able to gain a little bit by, by doing some porting on it, but that's something I can always do down the road. Um, it does have uh, uh, quite a modified, and you'll see some of the pictures uh, later on, but you can see how it's um, welded up at the top there. Uh, again, again you'll, you'll see it much better in the pictures, but just, just to fit this stupid thing in here, um, uh, I've got a five-inch, ninety-degree bend with a with a bunch of welding on the uh, on the intake to get the uh, throttle body relocated down here, and then uh, and then down to the uh, uh, the air, uh, air cleaner. Um, it's the the uh, fuel rails that come with with the Holly intake and uh, fast uh, sixty-five pound um, injectors. Um, so and I've got I've got those plumbed through. Uh, uh, just uh, dash six lines, du dual lines that come in out of a out of a Y block over here, um, that uh, uh, that is fed by a dash eight line uh, and splits off, uh, and then comes through the uh, fuel pressure with a single uh, dash eight return to the tank. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, and then uh, uh, on the exhaust side, uh, uh, there's this GM uh, LS seven shorty manifolds. Um, where I just cut the flange off the bottom and uh, welded up a, uh, a transition pipe to take the uh, oval shape uh, over to a three inch three inch pipe and then up into uh, you know, Flowmaster DBX mufflers on each side uh, along with uh, the stock uh, cats just to you know, I guess <laughs> try to be somewhat emissions uh, conscious but uh, um, so yeah, that that's uh, that's the motor. Um, I'll uh, I'll post a picture of the of the dyno dyno sheet uh, uh, on this video as well. It did uh, 572 um, uh, horse uh, rear wheel horsepower um, at uh, 77 almost 7800 RPM uh, with the 441 uh, torque uh, 442 I guess. You round up um, at uh, at uh, 6100 uh, uh, rpm. So obviously you know it's you know, made made to, to rev high, um, but it's got to, it's reasonably smooth at idle. Um, don't have to feather the throttle or anything like that when you're when you're getting off the uh, uh, launching off the, with the clutch. Um, but the car car is only about 2,500 pounds or so. I need I need to weigh it uh, yet. But uh, so for for a light car. Um, uh, you, you don't really notice the uh, uh, cam surge or, any, or anything like that. It's you know it's it's not like driving a uh, <laughs> a sedan, but uh, uh, but it's really it's really not bad uh, because of how the transmissions um, uh, wound. Um, we ran it up most of the runs in the dyno to eight thousand, uh, but we did just to just to kind of see what it would do. We ran it up to eighty five hundred. Um, valve train was completely stable, no no signs of valve float. And the power just uh, just started to taper off a little bit, uh, so it stayed pretty strong. Um, you know, obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to do that on the track, but you know, it's it's one of those things where if you need to hold a gear in a corner or something like that, it's 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 uh, convenient to just have that extra range. Um, so so yeah, that's the engine. Um, uh, like I said, I'll post post a bunch of pictures and the dyno sheets uh, uh, in this video as well. Thanks.